Hi, I'm Jay, and today I'm uh, casting jigs and just wanted to make a quick video showing some of the things I do to my uh, do it molds in particular uh, to make it easier um, when casting jigs. Um, I'll probably put in the description that it's uh, a modification, but I'm not really changing the mold at all. Um, it's just some little things to make it a little bit nicer to cast while we're casting. So let's turn it around. Let's see if I can. Microphone pointed to me as best I can. And if you've been watching my videos lately, I've been tying up a lot of the steelhead jigs. Um, so you can see here, I have two do-it molds. They're the round head jig, uh, assorted sizes, and it's the uh, steelhead AM-A and the steelhead AS-A. Um, they're both basically the same mold. One is 1 8 to 1 64th, and this mold is 1 quarter to 1 16th. So they overlap a little bit. Right off the bat, you can see uh, some markings that I have here on the top. Uh, single line, single line, those are both uh, 1 16th. Uh, and then 1 8th has this inverted V. Um, what size is this one? 1 32nd. I have marked with just a V. Now this is just so I can uh, more easily see where I'm placing the mold when I'm lining it up uh, to my melting pot. You can also see that both handles have been labeled on the outside. That's just so I can see them uh, much easier when I'm looking up at my rack. So I got um, about 25, 27 uh, do-it molds. Um, I have a considerable amount more of uh, custom molds. Um, but to find your mold uh, quickly to save a little bit of time, uh, so that's why I label them um, on the handle like so. Just with a Sharpie marker, the black handles, of course, get the uh, silver Sharpie marker and uh, the blue handles just get a black or the orange handles. I have some orange handle do it molds. Um, as we flip them over you can also see that I've and the lighting is terrible. Um, I uh, am just I just grabbed the uh, camera while I was finishing up casting some steelhead jigs this morning so but as you can see I've also took a, a fine sharpie marker and I colored in the lettering, the, the important part, round head jig, so the round head, and this is uh, mold number STLAMA, STLASA. Um, just again, so it's easy to see when they're hanging up on the wall. Um, here's a walleye, a walleye mold, same thing. Um, some of the do-it molds have the uh, uh, lettering sticking out, so you can't really color it in. Um, by all means, you could just color right on top of it. Um, as we open the mold, and I do this on all of them, you can see I've, I've done the same thing right here. Just so it's easier, you know, when I open the mold and I can look at what size I'm using, um, and I also uh, make sure I highlight the hook size that they use. Now, for this mold, for some reason, even though they're both the steel head hook, I've added some notes for myself on this handle. Watch out hook for hook number because on this mold the uh, hook number was off by one size. So the 1 8 on here using a number 2 hook 
and here they're recommending using a number four hook. I just wrote right next to it number two, next to the number six, a number four, next to a number eight, a number six, next to number ten, the eight, just so I know. And again, uh, since I, I'm not casting the 164th size, I did not highlight that size, but I did highlight the 132nd, the 116th, and 18th. Those are the three primary sizes I'm uh, casting for uh, the marabou jigs that I'm tying, uh, that they're using up north on the Salmon River. And then lastly, you can see here with the handles, this is the... So with the uh, opening to the mold, the gate for the mold on the top, when I am casting, I always hold it in my left hand, place the hooks in with my right hand and turn it like so to put under my vise. So do it handles are pretty sharp. They have some sharp edges. I just took a simple file to break the edge and not all of the uh, not all of the handles I do this on. Um, these two were my newest molds. I bought them in 2023. So I just took a file, broke this edge, broke this corner, particularly because it would dig into the palm of my hand. I would hold it like so. And then after a few hundred jigs, I started feeling this edge on my fingertips on my left hand. So this edge also got broken. I don't use this uh, mold quite as much. I did break the corner and this top edge here, but I have yet to do anything with this edge, and I might not. Um, part of it is, so on this mold, I'm casting a lot of 1 16ths. Okay, so that's the size here, closest to the hinge. <coughs> So all the weight is forward when I'm hold when this is closed and I'm holding it under the uh, melting pot. So the, the weight is forward. Um, everything I'm doing is kind of balancing between my uh, ring finger and pinky finger and the, the meat of my thumb. As I open it up, I take the, the jig out. I put a hook in, I close it back up. Everything is kind of balanced between these three right here. Um, I do use, you know, you do use your whole hand, of course, holding it, but the majority of the time doing casting, casting in the uh, holes closest to the hinge, it's all weighted, weighted forward. When I do the larger head sizes, um, I could do the 132nd here where it's more centered, but the 1 16th and 1 8th. So if I'm, if I'm casting 1 8th, which are in the holes closest to the handle, then I'm, everything is more balanced in the middle. So that's probably why I did not see the need to um, file this edge of the handle. Uh, because I really wasn't getting uh, any fatigue in my hand or on my fingertips um, against this hard edge. So I guess we, we just like with um, one of the most recent uh, videos I did about marabou jigs and production tying and how there's aspects that are not glamorous. This is one of those things. Um, it seems pretty insignificant and I normally wouldn't even consider talking about it. Um, but as I sat here one morning um, and went through a whole box of size 6 of the uh, 32833 making steelhead jigs, you know, I was noticing uh, my fingers getting sore, the palm of my hand getting sore. Um, and then just simple fixes like that, um, shaving the handle just a little bit, um, speeding up production by just highlighting those numbers just to get things done. 
Um, and I thought I'd share that with everybody today. So uh, very quick, simple video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead, put them down below. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Feel free to share any of my videos um, as it help. It does help increase awareness uh, for the channel. Um, keep casting, guys. And until next time, tight lines.